So there are a number of barriers that we encounter over and over in terms of people's perceptions of advanced video solutions. And those are that video is hard to use, it's unreliable, it's hard to deploy, and it's too expensive. I'll be the first to tell you that in the past, all of these have been 100% true. But we've now reached a, reached a place technologically where it doesn't have to be this way anymore. So first, video is too hard to use. If you've had these obscure remote controls and you have to come into the room and know how to position the camera and turn on the right lights, it doesn't have to be that way anymore. And there are two main ways that we need to work to make it easier to use. The first is make it easy for the user to dial and then make it easy for the user to look good. The user needs to just be able to come into the conference room and sit in the chair. They need to not have to worry about all of those other things that I mentioned. You can do that all for them if you do your deployment correctly. The other one is making it easy to dial. So one is telephone dialing, E164 style dialing. The other one is URI dialing, which is something that looks more like an email address. We have to support both of these dialing methods. And there's a way to bring those two things together, and that's called enum. There are currently over a million endpoints using enum. Internet2 has accepted the delegation for the plus one country code in the NREN enum tree. For our members that would like to participate in this, feel free to contact me, and we're beginning to roll this out um, in a pilot kind of way. In the past, video has been perceived as being unreliable. That's no longer the case as well. And to alleviate this, the simple dialing goes a long way, and then leveraging the advanced networks that we have available as opposed to commodity solutions. In the past, video has been hard to deploy. Also no longer the case. We have deployed all of that tricky, expensive back-end infrastructure for you. This infrastructure is deployed in the cloud on our backbone. This exchange is available for anyone in the uh, US research and education community to connect to. And that's something that we don't charge for as long as you have your own dialing infrastructure because we want reachability to be as broad as possible. For Internet2 members specifically, we're offering some capacity on our interoperable uh, bridging platform as well as direct endpoint registration if you don't have your own dialing infrastructure. And then on a cost recovery basis, we're offering additional services. And if you're an Internet2 member and are not yet an Internet2 video services participant, you should sign up here. And I'll emphasize that that comes along for free with your Internet2 membership. In the past, high quality video has been expensive, certainly. Also no longer the case. Since we have this centrally deployed capacity, you can use only what you need. And then the endpoints. I mean, you think of immersive video systems and you think of the $300,000 telepresence rooms. And I'm, I'm here to tell you that you can achieve an immersive video experience using very inexpensive video hardware as long as you deploy it appropriately. But getting that low-end codec, a LCD TV, some mounting hardware and some lights, you can get a very good solution for under $3,000. So that's, you know, 1% of the perceived cost of those $300,000 systems. 